can I forget? We were 16 up all night Love and heartbreak was our life We got drunk and smoked your dad's cigarettes Dreamt of a life in a big town Skyscrapers and neon lights It is officially Winterfest in my game and it is just all around a really exciting time for Nyla and for Joy because Joy's birthday is coming up. If you guys got to see the beginning, the little, I don't know, like video montage, I don't know what to call that, but whatever that thing was I made for you guys in the beginning, if you were able to like watch it and kind of like understand what was going on there, I was basically just trying to show you that Nyla managed to get engaged to find out she was pregnant and she's moving all in the span of like six weeks um I knew Nyla was pregnant since we were in um Sulani but <laughs> but I had to pause it because first of all Nyla being pregnant was completely not a part of the plan I didn't no she's not going to school today today's Winterfest um I did not think or did not yeah, I did not think that Nyla would get pregnant until, like, Joy was already, like, a teenager or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just really, I knew that she wanted to get married first. That was, like, one of her biggest things. But, like, without even telling Sean, without even making it, like, a demand, 
um sean had already proposed to nyla before she even told him that she was pregnant so it really just worked out for her and i'm happy for her i don't know why nyla's hand is moving y'all that's been like a new glitch in my game please just pretend like it's there <laughs> i'll fix it maybe in a minute but um yeah so everybody's just getting up because we have a few things to do today we're gonna definitely celebrate the holiday um we're gonna get all of our family involved and have like a big you know dinner and just make a really big whoop about the whole day um i could imagine that you know nyla really loves the holidays and seeing that this is gonna be her and sean and joy's first well, i was gonna say christmas but winterfest together i think she would want to make it a special one another thing oh somebody wants to purchase our painting so we got to make sure we sell that before we leave but um i was gonna say another exciting thing but i really don't remember what i was gonna say b is also naked i'm just not understanding this glitch in my game b is also actually having a few changes in her life and i don't know how you guys are gonna feel about this right but we're gonna be seeing a lot less of b um <laughs> When Nyla moves in with Sean, um, Kennedy is going to be moving in here with B. So we're going to be seeing a lot less of B naturally because we're just going to say that, you know, the girls, they're at the point now in their lives where it's just time for them to kind of adult separately, I guess. Not that their friendship won't be strong because Auntie B is still going to be at everything we have. She's still going to be very much involved in Joy's life, but i think it's like a timing thing you know like b has served her purpose to the story and i feel like okay she is free to move on with her her life and kind of you know pursue things with kennedy you guys seen in the last episode she cut off all ties with him so now she's emotionally free <laughs> and i think um yeah it's just a good time for both of them to kind of just like move forward move on in their friendship and in their life so I think it'll be really interesting and really cool to see. I am going to restart my game because this no arm business is driving me mad. It is Winterfest in my game and Nyla has officially finally moved everything. We do have a few things that we do have to unpack um, in, our new in our new home with Sean. So I have Nyla putting down her last few things before she gets started with cooking. I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet, but Nyla is actually preparing dinner for the family for the little dinner party that they're having left i mean that they're having later today and the issue is nyla is getting such a late start so we're gonna try to do our best to get a few meals kind of whipped up while the rest of the family kind of takes care of the rest of the house like sean you are a hundred percent on cleaning and decorating duty so i'm gonna get sean's attention it looks like he's working out right now but i'm gonna get him over here to i'm gonna get him over here to decorate the tree um with his sister just kind of make it really cute because we are expecting some guests and nyla really wants to make a good impression on his family even though they've met before she really wants to make sure that that they're pleased with you know what they were able to do with the space so i think i'm gonna have them go with the popcorn and cranberry kind of look um something really festive let me see what baby girl is doing absolutely nothing um maybe she can come in here and just play with her toys a little bit her birthday is quickly approaching so lately i've been thinking about like her skills and how we can kind of get all of them up so that you know she can be you know a well-rounded child when she grows up i'm also really excited about seeing her grow up i think that's gonna be so exciting man i feel like joy has been a baby forever Wait, what is she doing she's throwing things away all the way out here okay but i feel like joy has been a baby for such a long time like the first season we pretty much spent with joy being in the stomach and then like towards the end we had her and then now she's still a baby so i'm really excited to see like you know her grow into a child and like what she gets into what her personality is gonna be like also i wanted to say oh we got some people that want to buy paintings we got to make sure we sell those i think that's our second one that we actually have to get rid of but 
I also wanted to say um, I am so sorry about my inconsistency on the channel lately. Um, I, I really don't have a good excuse. The only thing I can say is that life has just been lifing. Uh, work has been busy and so has a school. Um, I love recording Sims videos and just like making content um, to share. But also for myself, I just really enjoy it. It's very therapeutic to me. So you can imagine I'm also having like withdrawals and I'm so happy to finally have some time to record. Also, my voice was really gone. Like I know y'all probably used to my raspiness by now like this is probably nothing new by now okay this is cute so far but like when it's really raspy i really can't record and it puts a damper on things like yo like i, I, I want to get back out i want to story tell and i can't so i'm really happy to be here and really grateful that i was able to kind of finally get back and then i didn't have to you know not record all together type thing but it's just not fun when you're always hoarse because my voice when we're talking about this content is my instrument is very important okay so they're gonna finish up decorating i don't think there's a lot of cleaning and stuff we can do maybe i should be like a good little watcher and help them move these things to the baby's room just to kind of be out the way um so i'll move that and i'll move the little makeup set too just to make a little room also, I think Sean would want to just get the yoga mat up. Like, I'll go ahead and pick this up, babe. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to have him put this in his inventory for her so she doesn't have to worry about it. Um, yeah, the, the tree is coming along nicely. Uh, oh, my gosh. The dinner party is freaking starting and we're not ready. Okay. It is what it is. Let's start. So everybody is pretty much here for the dinner party. Um, it looks like Nyla did change into something a little bit more fitting a little bit more formal i do want sean actually go take a really quick shower because it seems like he's still sweating from when he um was working out a little bit um this is obviously not your traditional christmas because they chose to wear some very different colors but that's okay i'm gonna have her go decorate ornaments i didn't know you could do that i didn't know that you could decorate ornaments okay let me go get sean to take a shower Meanwhile, Tatiana decorates the ornaments, I guess. Sean is so happy to have Nyla finally living in the same house with him. And he's even more excited that they're getting married and that she's having his first child. It's just a lot of good vibes. Does she get to decorate this like I asked her to? No, I don't even know if that's a thing. I think it's probably a glitch. Let me get her, though, to go ahead and... Uh, maybe we can oh i want to put the topper on that's what i want to do put the topper on we're gonna do a white and gold starburst topper um oh look at the nut roast it came out really good now nyla doesn't have time to say hello to the guests and really welcome them in because she's still cooking and like i said nyla is taking this opportunity to really just you kind of show off her talents kind of show off you know that she can be a good homemaker a good wife um they have a lot of news to drop on the family coming over so that is also really exciting um let me see if i can get some music going maybe baby girl can dance a little bit i really just want to set the vibes now y'all know how i feel about this fireplace this is this fireplace caught us on fire last time Zoe, please just stop. Please just stop. Let me have Tati come talk to you. Just like kind of distract you from being over here. Please stop because what you're going to do is catch yourself on fire and we don't have time for that. Okay, she's putting the topper on and then you really need to catch up with your father. Like, oh, Sean is back. Okay, Sean, why don't you do the hosting things and talk to your dad and talk to nyla's mom he's gonna enthuse about upcoming wedding like oh my gosh i'm so excited you know this season is so special for us Catherine is here when's the last time we seen Catherine, y'all it's been a minute but Catherine is doing well she's living her life with her new boo um yeah they're doing their thing i don't think that nyla would have a whole bunch to say to her but for the sake of joy we invite Catherine around so she can be around her baby you know what i'm saying so okay so uh sean first of all why did she do the topper for me okay i think she's gonna do the topper any second now 
Meanwhile, she's working on that. Let me see if I can get Sean to play some. Oh, well, her. But let me also see if I can get Sean to place some presents underneath the tree. Of course, B is here mixing drinks for us. This is so cute because the whole family is really coming in, like, you know, one at a time and just really just like, you know, enjoying the holidays and celebrating with us. I'm going to have little mama come over and just kind of, you know, talk to the older people who are here. Walls down. Y'all know I can't. I don't know why I try to fake it every time. Did I get to show you guys this room? This is the room that. This is her old room, actually, Michaela and Brandon's old room. So I guess she's coming here to just look at her teddy bears and kind of talk and reminisce because they haven't been here since they were kids. That's so cute. But now this is going to be Baby Joy's room. It's not looking 100% yet. We got to get rid of the box and kind of make it more hers. But it's still really nice. Um, is everyone we invited here? I don't know. Okay, yeah, Vincent is here as well. <laughs> Doing some push-ups like, okay, I gotta get ready to come say hi to this lady. He is totally, oh, he is totally not ready to speak to her or even see her. Now, this young lady is another one of Nyla's friends. Um, I play with her, I, I play with Nyla and her a lot off, off camera. Her name is Talia or Tulia, however you want to say her name. And she's so cute. I can't believe she wore this, but she is such a cute, like, a sim. And yeah, I think her and Nyla would grow to be really tight friends. Nyla, did you finish your other meal? If you did, then I guess it's also your time to kind of socialize and, you know, talk to everyone. I don't even know where Nyla is. Sorry I paused for so long. That is so not even me. Okay. Please, y'all take the baby away from near the fire. Sean. I think they're about to kiss or something. But after you do that, Sean, can you go put the fire out? I think I'm going to have to get rid of this fireplace. Like, they're so cute. Everybody just wants to burn themselves down. Okay, so I guess we should start eating, seeing that this is a dinner party and it's Winterfest and we haven't done that yet. So I'm going to have Nyla, I'm going to have Sean call everyone to the nut roast first. This is going to be kind of like a, um, like an appetizer kind of thing. So we're going to call everybody to this. Okay, we can't call everyone. So we're gonna call everybody that we can call to this. And then I'll have Nyla call everybody, I guess I everybody else, I guess, to everything else. Now there's a little bit of a story brewing with Mr. Vincent. Um and oh she's so ashy. She didn't pass a motion. With Mr. Vincent and his love life. Um, I think we'll get to see it actually tomorrow. Today we're just focused on like, you know the festivities of it all but we definitely are going to get to focus on what's going on in that love story i also want baby girl joy oh baby girl joy you can't talk to santa well ain't that something nyla did you get to put joy's gift under the tree no one did so let's see if i can go ahead and put some oh, oh. let me see if i can get to put some presents underneath the tree from mama to her baby It looks like everyone is enjoying their time. It looks like the food is really a hit. Let me see if I can get Nyla to talk to Father Winter and um, basically try to get some gifts out of him too. What is going on with the presents though? Like when I click here, it says remove present pile, but I don't even see any present piles. Anyways, I already have their gifts. So whether y'all want to give it up or not, they're going to get their gifts. Can you ask Father Winter for a gift? See what he gives you. <laughs> okay, it looks like Sean is ready to light the Christmas tree. Are you serious? Okay, so they're going to be unable to light the tree with us because they're doing their own thing. But hopefully everyone else gets to light the tree. <laughs> they probably reminiscing about the old times and just got them in the mood. Plus, this is a really flirty, like flat, like a little flirty loft or whatever. That fireplace really puts everybody in the mood. So that could also have something to do with it. Either way, they really could have waited like, you know, till they got by city hotel room. Like in the middle of the Christmas party. Y'all notice Nyla and her mama, they haven't said not one thing to each other. I think Nyla is moving forward in her life and not really stunting her mama like that. But at the same time, like, we're not letting you off that easily. Like, 
she is not let her mama let off that easy like she really still believes that cheating is not the way to go you shouldn't have been dishonest you could have done this a thousand other ways so yeah she's not gonna let that go anytime soon we're gonna ask santa for father winter i'm sorry for a gift and see what he comes up with for us can y'all like the tree are y'all really waiting on y'all don't need to wait on them to light the tree let's see if father winter has anything nice for us if he can give us a really nice is it, is it me or did father winter just gain a whole bunch of weight like instant like he was not that big a second ago anyways let's see what he got for me she's like oh for me thank you so much what you get nyla do you like it seems like she's pleased she got the incinerator by Grill Mania. Okay. That sounds fun. Sean is calling everybody over now to light the tree. Maybe he can also call Maybe he can also call everybody over to sing. We can probably sing Fwingle Zips. And we'll try to get everybody involved in this one. Except for the ones who are busy, like seriously. Also, let's see if baby girl will be able to approach Father Winter. Probably not. He left, I think. Yeah, I don't see Father Winter anymore, so maybe he left. Well, this was a cute little winter fest. Very intimate. Um, I'm going to have Nyla, of course, announce her pregnancy to all her family and friends. Oh, let me get this picture. This is a beautiful picture. I'm going to get her to... Okay, so Winterfest did not go as I really planned for it to go. I wanted it to be a lot more detailed and for you guys to see Nyla giving the family the announcement, maybe even interactions with the parents and all of that, but none of that really happened, which is fine. We're just going to go ahead and clean up. Um, I think that Nyla believes that she's going to get another opportunity to really you know tell everyone everything in due time though like you know when the time is right um maybe even this weekend as they celebrate baby joy's birthday maybe then will even be a great chance to go ahead and just tell her family you know that she's newly engaged and that um she's gonna be having another baby and i do know what she's having i did get to check it out um yeah so i'm excited uh if you want to give a guess at what you think she's having then go ahead and leave that in the comments but i think it's really exciting i think there's a lot of exciting things happening in nyla's life right now um i just i don't know i really couldn't wait to get back to this game to play i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade their mattress a little bit you know they deserve good night's sleep <laughs> uh nyla can you clean this up for us please how do you feel about Nyla moving out, y'all? Like, I don't know how to feel yet. I feel kind of like, you know, good for her because she's moved out and she's with, you know, her man. You know what I'm saying? The one that she loves. But at the same time, like, you know, we started off with B and sometimes I begin to miss that life a little bit. But no, we're moving forward. So let me get homegirl to do a little homework um she can study arts whatever but i just want you to do your homework and then i'm gonna get nyla to go ahead and deliver we still have a lot of unpacking and settling in to do so i'm gonna let nyla take oh look at that just got a whole bunch of money and we're on skill level three see she's reaching the entrepreneur skill it makes me just feel like maybe we should go ahead and open up our own business or should we wait till we get to like the top of our career before we go ahead and take that leap because i mean we did go to school i'm gonna get them to get ready to go to bed they have a lot of things happening uh this weekend they have a lot of planning to do and today was a really long day for them as well let me have nyla just basically get ready to go to bed but i wanted to show you before we leave them and go visit another family I wanted to show you so Nyla and Sean got Joy this really cute um little fortress uh we thought it would be cute to get her like you know a little thing that she can play make believe in and I think even as a child she can use it so that's cute we also got her this stuffed animal um to replace the one that she had before 
And then we also got Tatiana this media setup um, so that she can start making her YouTube videos and really get into, you know, what she thinks she wants to do. Um, it was really Nyla inspired to get her that gift, but Sean thought it would be a really good idea, especially after their talk, since Nyla got good insight. So I think Tatiana's really going to love this machine. Nyla will be approaching her second trimester in about two days so by the time Joy is a child we'll only be in our second trimester so that's sweet anyways I'm gonna leave these two to it and I will see you guys in the morning we'll be somewhere else but yeah see you guys in the morning So we're here at the OG Tramel house and Mr. Vincent is doing what he does best, always working. He's quite the workaholic. Um, his latest girlfriend is actually none other than Miss Zoe Sattersfield. Now, this is really, really like um, scandalous um, because Mrs. Sattersfield and her husband were friends of this family when they were married um so you know it's kind of like you know her husband died um in the first season actually of this um lp and vincent's uh ex-wife ex is moved on and she's you know she's with somebody else she's with somebody else but it's just kind of awkward i think that these two have found solace in each other their children nyla and b are also really close so i think they worry a little bit about how you know their kids are gonna take it so vince is just gonna be like you know i've been thinking about really just letting nyla know finally you know i, I think she would be okay with knowing and i think zoe is kind of like you know there's a lot more to it than you think like you think she's gonna be okay but what if she hates the idea Vince is gonna reassure her that she you know zoe has nothing to worry about these two are really into each other they really get along they really seem to like each other so much so that they even want to become best friends so i'm gonna make that happen for them but I think it's only on the forefront of Vincent and Zoe's mind because tomorrow is the birthday party and, you know, they worry that, you know, it's going to come out. I think it's been kind of hard for them to, like, hide their emotions towards each other in front of fam family. So I think they just want to be free. You know, he figures Catherine is able to flaunt her new man and go everywhere in town and be with him like why why can't i do the same thing i'm gonna see if i can take a vacation day. it's kind of late into his work shift but i think to reassure his girlfriend he's gonna take her out on a little date maybe somewhere where it's not snowing as bad um and just you know spend the day with her really so so we're out here in oasis springs um, out of the snow, it's a little bit warmer here. We're at the Hogan's Diner. Um, Vincent was pretty hungry, so he figured, why not? Let's go grab something to eat where it's not as, you know, snowy. Um, I remember just telling you guys just now that Vincent is really into Mrs. Satterfield and how he's so smitten and things are just really working out, but i took a look at his profile for her and it seems that he actually finds her really unattractive so maybe i miss okay no i promise y'all this i just said perceived as very unattractive but i guess she he's changed her, his mind maybe he's falling for her more like maybe he was she was unattractive at first but now that they've spent more time together she's becoming attractive i don't know but y'all i have myself ready to give y'all a whole story because i'm like he don't even like her for real but no it seems like he does and it seems like it's growing like the more he's getting to know her the more he's being attracted to her so that's nice too kind of like a slow romance that's nice okay so we're out here to grab a bite of eat oh a bite to eat and i do want to make it clear that Mrs. Sattersfield does not live with Vincent. She's not moved in with him or anything. 
But sometimes, like, especially when she's off from work, she'll come and, you know, spend some time with him. He lives alone and, you know, she's just gonna spend the night. They're grown, child, so they have their little rendezvous or whatever. I think the only thing holding Mrs. Satterfield back, I need to call, stop calling her that. The only thing holding Zoe back from actually moving in, I think, with Vincent is the fact that, um, you know, she still has teenagers at the house and to uproot them and move them out just seems like a lot. Maybe she'll be willing to combine the households after they graduate, which they are in their final year. So graduation is upon us, but she's she just she just doesn't think it's the right time and i don't either i think that would be kind of quick for vincent vincent would need to like remodel his house and get the essence of karen out of the house i think first before he could even commit to a step like that but i think right now they're really enjoying their time together so that's really nice um yesterday was winter fest so maybe the vincent is like you know what that ham my daughter made was really good i'm gonna go ahead and get that again and uh, Miss Zoe is gonna get something a little bit more light, I think. Maybe she'll go for the chef's choice, which is grilled chicken and corn on the cob. I don't know if we're gonna do dessert or not. I really wanted to come back and visit with this family though, because I wanted to see what Vincent could get into. I didn't think it would be fair for only Catherine to really get what she wanted and for Vincent to kind of just be left out in the in the wind or whatever or like you know what i'm saying left to fend for himself um i don't promise that i will be visiting vincent very often um on camera but off camera for sure we're gonna be like developing his relationship and like i said once zoe's kids graduate i see b not b i see zoe like moving in with vincent granted that everything goes well tomorrow because they're gonna have to basically tell their families that you know they're dating and i don't know i don't know what do you guys think i think that nyla will take it well i think that karen Th catherine might be full with filled with rage um <laughs> simply because she's gonna feel a little betrayed this was also her friend but I mean, oh God, Catherine, yes. it is what it is. I don't know. I'm not going to say that it's like the best thing that Vincent and Zoe could have done, but I'm also not going to act like Catherine was totally good to Vincent either. So, you know. So our food is here pretty quickly. That is awesome. That's that Dine Out mod by Carl, man. It is like simply amazing. The food looks like it might be really good. Everyone looks pleased. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and eat, and we do need to socialize about our meal. I don't know if this is going to be a gold star date or not. Like, I'm really watching the relationship to see what's going to happen, like, honestly, because I don't want to force anything on Vincent. He's older in age, and honestly, this man could be a bachelor. Like, he could be out in the streets if he wanted to. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make that clear. You know what I think he would do? I think he would praise the romantically exclusive relationship um lifestyle oh no wait wait, wait, wait. what does that say wait, wait, wait. not non-exclusive oh you like to be non-exclusive wait what is happening are you non-exclusive now because of what's happened in your past i i thought you were like a faithful okay we're not gonna praise it because that doesn't even seem like something that's you is she into non-exclusive relationships no okay so i don't know where that came from but we're, we're gonna act like no why would he do that that doesn't make sense okay i thought it said praise romantically exclusive relationship i was gonna say like yeah you know he was gonna make sure he reminds her how important it is to like stay faithful because he's just been through something really you know detrimental but now we're just gonna ignore that and keep it moving um i want to socialize about the meal but i don't really see the option so i don't know we're probably not gonna have a good date because of it and that hurts my heart let me see what i can do oh they're not even boyfriend and girlfriend which is good i like that i like that they're actually no i think vince is gonna make it official today i think it makes sense for vincent to make it official today so that tomorrow when they go and they basically tell everybody about um them dating it's official so that's why they haven't said anything all this time because all this time they've been just trying to get to know each other but then like now they're gonna get ready to come out with it 
and yeah it's like they're kind of nervous about it like that's the kind of vibe I'm getting so let me just have go ahead and finally have Vincent go ahead and ask Miss Zoe to be his girlfriend because he's ready and um yeah I guess tomorrow we'll see how everyone takes the news that should be pretty interesting look at this she's like heck yeah i'll be your girlfriend <laughs> so that's cute okay so now they're officially boyfriend and girlfriend okay i guess and i don't think they've had their first kiss yet so maybe you should also go ahead and give her a kiss so your first kiss is not tomorrow when y'all go to the place y'all have a little bit of practice right Catherine is gonna hate this i think Catherine may even try to lay her paws on somebody because she's irrational like that like she's very impulsive very like this is how I'm feeling this is what I'm gonna do kind of personality so I could see her really doing that and it seems like we're not gonna get better than a silver date which I mean it's not horrible right and it's like their first official real date together so I guess we can kind of accept that let me see if I can order some dessert for us meanwhile he's out in the restroom Oh, there's no way to play music. Sad, sad. Oh, what do you do for a living, Zoe? Oh, you don't have a job, but you're over here raiding the... Maybe you want to get into that business. That's interesting. She was, like, raiding the food and stuff. Okay, so I think I would order... Oh, sweet potato and marshmallow. That sounds really good. I'm going to order that for Zoe, and maybe I'll just get him the fruit cobbler. <laughs> Okay, so our bill is about 68 simoleons. It's not too bad. I'm excited about tomorrow, though. Um, you know, just getting to see Joy age up. Um, yeah, and just getting to see the look on Catherine's face when Zoe basically tells her, I got your man, and there is nothing you can do about it. All right, come back and sit down. We still can't socialize about the meal, which is, you know, a little disheartening. Like, <laughs> what is the point? Let me try one more time. Yeah, I still don't see the option for him to, like, be able to socialize about the meal. And the date's gonna end any moment now. So, we'll take our winnings where we can. I actually need to get back with, um, with Nyla so that we can plan this party for tomorrow. As, as I'm recording, like as I'm speaking right now, I really have no idea what kind of party I want to have for Joy. I'm thinking that maybe we can just go back to the park and really just have like a really cute time there, something like that. I did not order apple pie. Yet, I got apple pie. I mean, we gonna eat it, but I didn't, that's not what I ordered. Okay, yeah, so our date was... I had a great time. I just wanted to let you know that I had a blast on our date. Hit me up anytime. Okay, just come here and finish ordering, eating your food. I'm going to move her out and make Vincent go ahead and pay for the meal. And then I'm going to go back with Nyla, just kind of get them ready for bed and unpack because I really need to do that. Um, I really need to figure out what I want to do with Nyla. So, you know, what? as of right now, we're going to keep Nyla working until she gets to the top of her career. Then we can think about, you know opening up, up her own museum or own art gallery that would be so cool i just that'd be so cool okay so it seems like they've well you could order a bottle of alcohol oh snap no no no. i, I gotta go we're gonna end the meal that is really cool though we're gonna end the meal um i'm gonna go ahead and put zoe back in her household so she can go take care of her kids and her grandkids and yeah i'll see you guys in a minute when we get back to nyla's house so we're back with nyla and her new apartment her new home and honestly nyla is pretty much settled in for the most part we've unpacked our bags we just haven't had a chance to really um decorate um baby joy's room the way we would like to um this place is really like fancy and up let's see she has her paintings up and very up like you know upscale so we did get to um 
you know add our little touches around the place this place is very fancy like i was saying so i think you may see me gradually kind of just changing the style of this place um only because i want it to be a little bit more family centered but then again maybe we won't maybe sean has other plans i don't really know if he plans on staying here long to raise his family or if this is kind of a pit stop i don't really know what he has in mind so i'm gonna bring baby girl over here to actually let's study trends and let's start just looking at what's out there what kind of videos people are in, are into right now we're feeling really inspired so we're gonna just do a little inspiring vlog maybe talk about you know this being our first time recording our, a video and trying to inspire other people to get out there and record videos i don't know but she's feeling inspired so we're gonna let her do something inspiring i held off on decorating baby girl's room because um she's gonna be a child tomorrow so i didn't want to decorate it now and then basically have to do it again tomorrow first of all i'm not even that big of a decorator so to do this twice would be torture <laughs> so i decided i'm just gonna wait until like you know she's ready and then i would go for it uh nyla i think she's gonna make herself a drink sean is out here playing with baby girl which i think is so cute probably talking to her about her birthday party tomorrow which we don't really know what kind of birthday party we want to have but we want to do something cute i was thinking maybe something at the park i think i said that already but children are the world from loving children being around kids and making them smile is important to sims who love children so that is uber cute and he's getting those feelings about joy so i love that let me see if i can set sean to be her care dependent like you know he can adopt her so he can kind of like you know help in disciplining disciplining and raising her i think they're to that point He's about to be her stepdad, so honest, you know what? For the sake of storytelling, I'll wait until he's officially her stepdad to go ahead and push that envelope. That's what I'll do. All right, baby girl, I need you working on this thinking skill because honestly, it's um, it's not behind by a lot, but you know, it could be a little bit higher. Let me see what I can get Nyla to cook since it is. It seems like everybody in the house is kind of hungry. So we're going to try to serve some dinner. Maybe we can do some broccoli and cheddar soup since it's so cold outside today. And then I'm also going to go ahead and finally plan this birthday party for tomorrow. Okay, so we have the event set for tomorrow at noon. That means that Nyla needs to make sure that she gets this cake baked. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we should do it tonight just to make sure we have no hiccups for tomorrow this fireplace y'all i think i'm gonna get rid of it because even the baby be trying to light the fire i don't got time for that um how is the vlog making going tatiana um seems like she's still working on it which is cool what is sean working on oh he want to work on some food but don't don't not yet um wifey is working on getting some food together actually sean didn't you want to go back to college i think sean wanted to go back to school so i think we should probably start that let's check out clark atlanta and let's also check out howard um these are sean's first very first steps into making sure that he can secure a future for his family right now i believe sean is working in the engineering field but he's only on level one he's still a support technician and i think that sean could get a lot further if he went to college and just finished off those credits so I think that's what we're going to actually be working on with Sean. Another thing that I think really hinders us is the fact that we don't have a robotics station. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so Clark Atlanta, they have art, history, communications, culinary arts, drama, fine history, language and literature, biology, computer science, economics, physics. So let's just say he doesn't get a distinguished degree and he's over here somewhere. I don't think that they offer anything that we need for engineering. So we're gonna try the other school. We're gonna try Howard now and see what that's looking like. Oh yes. Sue. <laughs> okay, so Howard University on the other hand, 
for their regular degrees. They have biology, computer science. I think this is what he needs. Economics, physics, psychology, and villain villainy. So we're going to actually apply to Howard. Now, if we get into something distinguished, that's great. Um, it just opens up our opens up our <laughs> our options i guess but for how it stands right now i think we're gonna oh my gosh okay so i guess we have to do happy vlog um we're gonna call this um first vlog ever don't ask me why the writing is like that um yeah we're gonna call it first vlog ever and i guess he's gonna go ahead and what is he doing studying the course for university entrance okay so this has gotten really a lot more complicated since nyla remembers doing school so we're just gonna go ahead and get nyla to go ahead and start eating um because it's important that we keep a baby girl nice and happy she's carrying a baby so go ahead and grab a serving um, Tati, don't go ahead, don't edit that video yet. You go ahead and grab a serving as well. And Baby Joy, it seems like you could probably use a little food so you can go ahead and grab some as well. I can't believe Sean has to take an entrance exam. Sean is probably like, I did not think it was going to be all of this. Like Nyla told me she just applied and that was it. Now they got me studying. Sean, I did not know it was going to be that intense. Okay, so hopefully... Sean is able to pass that maybe like his first time let me get Tati to kind of talk to Nyla about how recording her first video went and how happy she is about the new wedding oh you know what I wanted I wanted Nyla to be able to get a wedding planner I wanted to do that whole process let me not agitate it now because Nyla's not going to be getting married right now but at some point I am going to get Nyla to do that whole wedding planning process because I really want them to have like a grand wedding. I think Nala deserves it. Don't think I don't see Tatiana drinking this wine right now. It's just that like, I don't know. So I'm Caribbean, like my family, they're Jamaican and I was raised here in America, but, or in Florida, in America. <laughs> I was raised here though in the States, but like I have a very like heavy cultural influence, right? And even when I was younger, I spent a lot of time in these places because this is where my family is so i remember and i'm not saying that you should be able to drink underage that's not what i'm promoting here i'm just saying like people in that culture seem to take drinking less like serious like it's not as detrimental and i think that kind of works to like a benefit because like if you're not telling me to like not to do it then i'm less curious type thing no i'm kidding i don't know i don't know like it makes you wonder like how come some cultures are so open about it and some cultures are not anyway so tatiana drinking doesn't necessarily bother me as long as she doesn't become like an alcoholic and there's a little bit of rosé like a little bit of you know what i'm saying a little something something it ain't nothing like where i think i would have to be concerned so i'm okay with that so they're just catching up doing girl talk i'm gonna get sean is still studying for his entrance exam i think i'm just gonna stop here because what i don't want is this video to be super long and the more i talk and like wait on these things the longer the video is gonna be and we still have a whole birthday party to celebrate tomorrow so i'm gonna go ahead and just stay with the family let them do this and then i'll see you guys tomorrow at the party Today is the big day. We're finally celebrating Baby Joy's birthday. I am so excited to see what she's going to look like, to see what kind of child sim she's going to be. Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm just really excited. I invited everyone that is involved in Baby Joy's life. Um, I even invited her father because it was so strange. Randomly, she had gotten a a want to um get ask her dad for some food i've never even seen her uh think about ronnie much less want to ask him for food so i thought that it would be cool to invite him and nyla and him they can keep their distance they don't have to speak or even be around each other but it's for 
it's specifically for baby girl so uh Myla is just gonna come over here and maybe play with baby girl on this thing we're gonna age her up pretty quickly um simply because i feel like this might be a long one and because i, got, I want you guys to actually see me in cast making her over so that's gonna be a whole nother <laughs> element um i really want to go ahead and start off by oh even laszlo is here look Laszlo, this is Catherine's um, boyfriend. He's a proper celebrity. Even he's here. Nyla just wanted to invite everyone. Um, if they want to come, that'll be great. If they didn't want to come, that's also up to them. It looks like Talia is in next to the cake, guarding it for me. Thank you very much, Talia. I appreciate it. Let me go ahead and talk to Aaliyah a little bit and just announce my engagement. I also want to see if I can announce my pregnancy to her as well. I want to tell as many people as I can because when they came over the last time, I didn't get to really tell anyone. So I also want to tell her about the news of my pregnancy. The only person that really knows right now is B. So yeah, I'm really excited for her to be sharing it with her other family and friends. She's like, can you believe it? She's like, that's so, that's amazing. I'm so glad for you. That's exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited too. And don't worry, girl, you are definitely going to be in the wedding. Um, I just wanted to make sure everybody got here before I had baby girl blow out her cake. I think I'm going to bring the cake over here since everyone is standing over here. I'm going to have Sean also tell his mom because I don't think that she properly knows yet either so i want him to tell her about the engagement and i want her to i want him to also tell about the pregnancy now i don't know if he can he probably can't so i'm gonna have nyla do that but she would he would definitely tell his mom and his dad about you know being newly engaged and how excited he is about that um so yeah i have to tell both of them uh, it looks like B just made it, so we're actually going to get ready to go ahead and do our thing any moment now. I don't see Ronnie. Um, like I said, I was trying to wait for everybody to kind of get in the same area, but I'm not seeing everyone. So we're just going to go ahead and do this, do this anyways, I think. go. Where's Nyla? Nyla, let me have you grab baby Joy. What is Joy doing? She is hungry. Okay. So we're going to get Joy fed and she needs the restroom. Where is she though? Okay, so Nyla, I need you to pick. No, actually, Joy, you're going to ask your mom to help you blow out the candles. This is so sweet. Oh, Ronnie's here too. Should I? No, I'm not going to give Ronnie that moment. Heck no. I was going to say should I have her ask Ronnie, but no. Congratulations. I always knew it would happen. That's what Sean's mom said. That's so cute because I think Nyla was so worried about... um. I think Nyla was worried about what Sean's mom thought about her, but she's happy for their engagement, which gives me a good, you know, a good feeling, a good indication. I see B or Zoe over there, um, but I don't see Vincent. Oh, Vincent is over here. Are they trying to keep their distance so that no one knows that they're together? There's Catherine. Okay, so everybody is pretty much here, and we're ready to blow out the candles. Oh, Catherine gave him a big old kiss in front of everybody. Okay, so you see, when Vincent does his big one, I don't want anyone to be salty or upset okay it looks like the moment is happening i'm so excited hold on okay here it is we're gonna be wishing baby girl a happy birthday look everyone celebrating at least i think so what are they doing? Taking selfies? I don't know what they're doing, but okay. This is the money maker right here. Oh, how cute. And look at her cake. She got like a little rainbow um, macaron, macaron cake. Super cute. Okay. Happy birthday, Joy. Oh, man. Let's see what she looks like. oh okay she's still so cute she's still so cute she looks a lot like her father okay we're gonna hop into Cass and see uh what her final look is like it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can't spend the night underneath the mist 
mistletoe And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me The snow is falling down And the storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas She looks so much like her father. She looks so much like Ronnie to me. She took literally almost nothing from her mother, Nyla, but it's still so cute. Um, I'm going to have uh, Nyla go ahead and call basically everyone to come grab a piece of cake, you know, come celebrate with baby girl as we wrap up this episode. Um, this was a good one. I really had fun coming back and playing with this family i'm actually sad that we have to go right now but you know what we're gonna get to see more and like you know now that she's a big girl now we're gonna definitely get in her business and really get to see what kind of character she's gonna be um look at her she has her dad's eyes she looks just like her father let me see where is your dad can you find him here Ronnie is away from everyone I guess he doesn't want any of the drama the last time he saw Nyla um he put his hands on her so um I'm just gonna have baby girl actually come over here and just talk to him maybe enthuse about cats because we see him playing with the dog but uh as you guys just seen in cast baby girl joy is actually a cat lover so maybe she'll come over here and just enthuse about cats with her dad kind of express her interest in cats maybe he'll get her one you know i'm sure that's probably what she's hoping um i don't know why it says apologize she did nothing wrong so we're not gonna do that but maybe she'll want to get to know her dad a little bit more and kind of forge some kind of relationship there they have a little bit of a relationship but they don't really know each other like that so I think Nyla would be okay with, you know, them developing a relationship as long as, like, you know, he keeps it respectful and, you know, he's good to her daughter. I think she'll be just fine with that. Oh, <laughs> Bye, 
It looks like Nyla is finally catching up with all of her family. She's had such a busy weekend, like hosting Winterfest and moving in and dealing with pregnancy symptoms and things like that. But I think she's really excited that she's going to get to like move forward and actually like, you know, go to her doctor's appointments and start planning out the, um, the nursery and really just, you know, sinking her teeth into it as well as planning a wedding. So life is just like, really starting to get busy for Nyla and I'm so excited about that we didn't get to um we didn't get to tell Nyla and B that you know their parents are dating in this episode but maybe they'll get to learn in the next episode or off camera and I'll let you guys know what their reaction was I'm sure that Nyla's gonna be a little bit weirded out by it but she has so much on her plate right now like honestly there is no time to be worried about other people's lives um and another thing that Nyla um you know the reason why she wouldn't be upset is because like at least my dad didn't step out on my mom to you know be with somebody else so there's always that anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up our episode let me go ahead and see oh baby girl really needs to use the restroom she's so cute let me show you her dad before we wrap up because i know i was saying that she looks just like him but if you didn't see season one then you're probably like no she doesn't but look at this guy they look just alike <laughs> They look just alike what they say like they say when you hate your baby daddy or when you really don't like him like that's why that's when your baby really comes out looking like him he's leaving the party maybe he feels unfulfilled maybe he feels like an outcast because like he didn't even speak to us he came nowhere near us and now he's leaving i feel like that's appropriate though honestly like keep your distance everyone else is leaving too anyways let me go ahead where's baby girl i want to wrap up the episode with her as the focus because she had such she she's the one that had a birthday party so since we're living in the house now too i want to make sure in the next episode we kind of dive into what's going on with tatiana how she's doing with social media and like how she's kind of acclimating to the city we know that she's settling in nicely but we really don't know about like who our friends are or like how school is going so that's exciting i'm excited to see that perspective as well but I really had a great time. Uh, oh, sorry, baby girl. I really had a great time uh, playing with this family and playing this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Um, don't forget to like this video and leave a nice comment down below. Just letting me know what you think about the season so far. Did you expect so many changes to be happening in Nyla's life at all? What do you think about Baby Joy's makeover? She's now a child. You guys know it's preteen, then teen. Like, she's on her way. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. Uh, also, if you're not a part of the gang gang, but you want to be, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can become a part of the family. And um, turn on your post notifications so that whenever I post a video, you will be up. Oh, you'll be updated. I'm going to stop, but that's making me kind of dizzy. <laughs> again i had a great time filming this video i had a great time playing with this family um i hope you guys enjoyed it until next time may i'll take it easy out there y'all be safe peace